guys, it's Bad Lori, and welcome to my Sims channel and my very first rebuild video ever. So today here we are getting started with the Peb the Peppers Pub, the one and only pub in all of Brightchester, which to me seems quite unfair for a university town to only have one bar, but no, we may add to that later. So today, you know, we just wanted to give this one a little bit more life, a little bit more personality to it since it is the one and only bar in town and they left it quite bare inside. You see here just no decorations, no real exciting furniture, a single ping pong table upstairs, not really much to work with or anything to do if you're a sim trying to spend time at this lot. So here we have me clearing out the entire building and just leaving the landscape behind. I really thought it was nice to leave the landscape because I wanted to make sure that this lot still blended in with the rest of the, you know, the surrounding terrain. Because they really did a nice job creating this whole neighborhood and environment around Brightchester. Um, it just really feels like a whole different level of town. Like when you look at the base game worlds such as, you know, Oasis Springs where everything's just kind of flat and level, which I guess it would be in a desert. And this is just multi-tiers and just diff different places to experience all around. But yes, anyway, in this part I'm just kind of getting some foundation going, trying to see where the actual bar is going to be itself, setting up a little wraparound porch because there is so much outside space on this lot. Um, if I wanted to, I probably could have made the bar even bigger feeling, but um, I just feel like there's never really that many actual sims on a lot at a time when you go to visit, and I just feel like it's so empty sometimes, so a smaller build to me is more enjoyable. Also, it's easier to play on, too, because you're not just losing people all over the place. Like, oh, where'd this one go? So. And while I said that I do in, like, a smaller build just to keep the gameplay easier, I still decided to keep the second floor because I thought it gave us room to just have a little bit more interaction on the lot. Because there literally is just going to be a bar downstairs, not even the bathroom. I didn't leave room for the bathroom to be downstairs, but at least... If the bathroom's upstairs, it forces our sims to use my really cool L-shaped staircases because I thought that that was such a cool little update that they added in one of the recent patches before the university update. I just want to use it everywhere now because it makes stairs just better. Um, having that just that column of stairs every single build was so annoying and trying to work it into places where it didn't fit. This just makes everything more interesting and exciting. So upstairs, it's still going to be a little bit smaller, cozier. Um, it's just going to be kind of more of like a lounge area on top of the bar. There's, um, so right now we're adding the columns in to put the roof on. And I wanted to play a little bit more of that new column update that they added at, that, at the same time they added the stairs. However, I'm still kind of unsure how that column update works. So if anybody has any feedback for that, I would love it because I want to make better columns in my builds for everyone to see. Yes, and then here is our little roofy jam. This was kind of easy to put together because the build is basically a square. When putting the roof on, I wanted it to have a little bit more of like that historical, that Victorian feel, just because I feel like this whole town has a beautiful historical feel to it. I really wanted the building to kind of go with that and replicate that feeling. To me, this whole Brightchester town seems like something a little bit more colonial, maybe, or even pre-colonial, and I wanted the building to have a feel like maybe it's been here since the 17 or 1800s, and it's been made over a couple of times by a couple of different owners. And then we have that trim work and the fence around the edge of the building. That took me a really long time to figure out just exactly how I wanted it to go. Because, you know, as the creative process goes, sometimes it takes a lot of finagling and just trying out different looks to see how they go together and how it actually fits in, you know, in the game versus how it actually fit in my head. Um, I liked having the mix match of textures going on on the outside of the building too, because I really felt like that added to the feel that it's been renov that it's been renovated several times throughout its lifespan. You know, at one point it might have been brick, at one point it might have been like more Tudor style. I just really wanted this to look like it's been through many hands and it's been a part of the town for ages, and that is something that I feel like once you actually see it together, really came through into the final build of it all. Um, God, the angled doors. I feel like they didn't give us enough doors in this game sometimes. Like, yes, University Expansion had great windows and doors. I'll say it again for the people in the back in case nobody else has watched yet, but University has great windows and doors. 
but we just need more in general. Um, I also found that, you know, I wish black came in everything in the game, and black does not come in every single thing. Just more consistent swatches would make building easier in general. Um, but, you know, I digress. Back to my build today that we're working on. We had our fun little outdoor entrances to the upstairs lounge, and then um, you might have got a quick little peek at the rafters that I put in upstairs. I like doing that because I just feel like it gives a little bit more character and interest to the build. Um, I feel like older buildings often have exposed beams in the ceilings, and I thought that was kind of cool. Makes it a little bit more airier upstairs because I do only have the short height walls on the second floor because I wanted it to stay with that warm and cozy vibe because even, you know, college students need somewhere to relax sometimes. I feel like I left the dorms kind of cold in this world and it's nice to have somewhere humble to go to. As I started decorating inside, of course, I had to start with the only bar they gave us at the university pack, which I think the top's kind of cool, but I feel like it's just kind of weird just hanging there all freestanding, blocking the view of everything. So I tried to build it into the wall a little bit more. I wish you could actually build it into a wall, like the uh, chef sets that came with the dining out pack, or get to work. The one that makes you, that lets you build a restaurant. Um, just because I think that's really cool when you can have like the cutout through the wind, through the wall, like a little window to the bar. But that's why I put these little walls here and arches because everything's blocking the view anyway. Why not have some more walls in the way? I really wanted to put all the bottles on the back wall of the bar too because I feel like that's something that should be in a bar just to give it more of that feel like hey look at all of our bottles we are here to show you what you can drink I had no idea that those were actually base game I thought those that 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 set of bottles came with the city of living learn something new every day and I found myself using a lot more wood paneling in this build than I might normally use in any build at all just because I really really wanted all the wood to be everywhere, kind of like some of the pubs that you may have seen during in Windenburg. I felt that that made everything just feel a little bit more historic and a little bit more antiquated, and I love that so much about Brightchester. I keep going on about it. And this poor brick back wall gave me such struggles. Um, we spent a lot of time kind of playing with that too, just seeing what fit, what looked good, what even options I had. Um, I feel like if I had let myself use more packs, that might have been easier to work with because I wanted to do some of the murals back there, you know, some graffiti looking stuff. However, I did really, really want to make sure that this pack stayed, uh, this particular build stayed within just the university pack and the base game. That way, um, when you do find this on the gallery, if you do want to, more people have the opportunity to download it that way because I know not everybody can get every single pack because it is an investment. <laughs> There's a lot of packs now and they kind of, it adds up, but it does really help the game if you're trying if you're more of a builder. It's just nice to have options so not everything has to look the same and everything can just be a little bit more detailed and intricate and personalized. And here you can watch me play around with the windows a lot and have qu just curious and questionable choices as I decide what I'm actually going to finally put here. The short walls just are not always easy to work with for windows um, because not it's hard to get something center. I feel like if something looks right height on the outside, it definitely doesn't look like the right height on the inside of the build. And I don't like always having to work with the snapping of the windows. I love being able to um, have them move objects on, press alt, and move things around, like when I'm putting pictures on the walls, and I wish windows would be the same way. I know it can be kind of tricky to make that work with like the lighting drivers, but if we can do that with lights on the walls, we should be able to move min windows around too, and have more freedom with windows. But not that that's going to impact any of the way that the bathroom came out, because there's no windows over there anyway. Yeah, we had to make a little bit more room here just to actually fit the stalls in. Because I'm so excited to finally have bathroom stalls. I need to use them in every public build now. I feel like making the public bathrooms before was just kind of disappointing in builds um, without stalls, because everybody had to have like the individual bathrooms. And I just don't feel like that's a realistic experience to, when I go out. Like everywhere, it was always just horrible, horrible stalls and not just little private bathrooms. So now my Sims get to suffer like I do finally. Ha ha. Joke's on you, Sims. These stalls are indeed terrible. Um, 
Now we put some tiling on the walls there. Yes, tile. Still keeping the brick in the back because I love having exposed brick everywhere I can. Um, I wanted to use some of that newspaper as Patrick on the walls too. Um, you might think it's weird, but it just kind of reminded me more of like some of the bars that I might have seen like in Philly. I know um, in the bathrooms they'll have like newspaper clippings like lined in, on the walls or like old posters if you go into them. And I... I just always love places like that where they actually have, you know, customized decorations, you know, handmade decorations. And yes, newspaper on the walls can be decorative if it's like all on a theme. Um, like I've seen in music bars, I'll have like the newspaper articles from like the different bars that have come through or things, or excuse me, the different bands that have come through and things like that. And I just, I like it. So sue me. Um, and then here we're just kind of playing with that weird little nook that's like stuck in the wall there too because I wanted that to look as realistic as possible. Like was this a speakeasy at one point? Maybe that's where we hid the liquor. Um, I even played around having like a little secret door on there at some point but at the end we decided to not go with the secret door just have it be like a little weird utility hutch that you can't actually get into. So that's where like the fire hose is going to be. So we won't have any of our uni students burning down here. Then when we finished with the bathroom, we moved on to actually decorating this cute little loungy space that I've been waiting for. Um, we put our decorations up here and there, but really up here, it's mostly just going to be like a TV, a couch, there's um, a bookshelf, there's little chess tables. Oh, and we're decorating downstairs too. So we decided to keep with the uh, high uh, high top tables that they originally had in the bar just because, hey, they're new, it's university, let's do it. But I decided to kind of like randomize things a little bit more down here, make it look like there's been some rowdy students coming through and pushing tables around and, you know, just generally not caring about where things end up. Yes, yeah, trying to find some rugs down here too to warm up the place a little bit. Um, the more I just stared at that bare wood floor that I ran from outside to inside, um, the more I didn't like it. But if we, if you download the build, you can choose to change it to whatever makes you happy. If you like it, you can leave it. Um, I just really like the wood that has like more texture and more like color variation to it. Because if you see a wood floor in somebody's home or you know anywhere, it's not just like long beams from like wall to wall in the room. You can see that there's different pieces, different lengths, different shades going on. And I felt like this is more realistic and I just kind of like that, that weathered gray color because it looked more like it's been walked on for a long time by all different kinds of wet shoes and you know not necessarily well cared for. At first I kind of was going for this to be like more of a library up top with like the hidden door with like the books on it and I just couldn't find really bookshelves that looked right next to it on either side so we kind of nixed that idea and kept it moving. There goes the TV, we're getting some fun mirrors in the bathrooms because those other ones were way too big and I want to try to use as many of the new university things as possible just to keep it exciting in the build because we don't want to see base game stuff all over the place all the time. Yes, people have the base game and it is necessary, but it's nice to use the new stuff they put out when they make it because, you know, the creator spent time working on it, so we should use it. We kept everything inside the build here a little bit more green and brown and just kind of natural tone colors because I think that they're cozy and I think they look nice with the fireplace. I would have loved to see some new chess tables come out with the university pack too. I kind of feel like that was a little bit of a missed opportunity, but they've given us some nice chess tables to some other packs. I just feel like we could always use more colors for those because there's not enough ways to gain your logic skill in this game and I feel like the chess table takes up kind of a lot of room, so it would be nice if there's just like more swatches and more styles to go more different lifestyles around it. And then we found some room for a easel up here too because we wanted to create kind of a skill building area because again, this is literally the only public lot basically that's not a university based lot. So I wanted it to be like more than just a bar, like it's kind of... Like, how, if you've seen in coffee houses how they have, like, the little couches where people can, like, come and do their homework and stuff, I kind of wanted it to feel more like that upstairs with the fireplace. And then, naturally, because we readjusted the size of everything to build the bathroom, we had to move our exposed beams over up top. And I kind of like the way they ended up afterwards better anyway, because now it's more central to just the living room, and we don't have an exposed ceiling in the bathroom, too, because nobody wants that. 
And now we're just working through some of like the more like details of the outside of the build, trying to just to make it look more pretty and presentable because I just wasn't completely satisfied with it yet. I felt like it was just missing a little something. Um, I felt like maybe like the um, the edge trim from the first and the second floor wasn't going together all the way. Would have been nice if we could have gotten like a window in here on the back of the build somewhere, but it didn't make sense to have one behind the bar and it didn't make sense to have one into the bathrooms. So we added our chimney to go with our um, fireplace at least that added a little bit of more quaintness to it a little bit more of like that old look um, trying to place which dormers look best because it seemed it just seemed like the right thing to do to put more dormers on it I loved the little fenced areas around the windows too because after all they are college students and you never know what could happen at the pub with them yeah, changing up the brick a little bit more because that was just too red. Like, I spent the entire beginning of the build trying to get the red tones out of the place, and then I put that red brick in there, and then it just matched nothing. It didn't make any sense. So now we have um, some grayer bricks because um, this place has been modernized a few times in its lifespan. You know, it's had several different odors who have done half renovations, kind of. But that is kind of where we left off with the outside. And um, it was so hard to not want to use decorations from City Living and from Get Together in this um, build just because I really love the decorations from them, but I really wanted this to be something that everybody could try out if they wanted to and not just be like, oh, I don't have all of the expansions because they are kind of a lot too. I really did do my best to make sure that I didn't use anything that wasn't from outside of the university or base game on this. On sec, like upon rethinking about this though, I'm worried that I may have left that little, um instrument brusking station in there you know where they uh, go for they play their instruments for tits this one that i'm putting in now i'm afraid that i may have left that in there and that's i'm 99 percent positive with the city living thing so um i'm sorry i will check it out when i post it to the gallery and make sure i take that out so if you don't have city living you can still download the pack too it just seemed to make sense to have it there for the college students you know they want to make more money or whatever way they can because they can't work they're at school but if you're at a high enough skill level, you can just play for tips in public anyway. And even if you're just practicing in public, they can give you tips. So I guess I don't need that one little that one little uh, item that I used from the wrong pack. And here we just spent the last few moments kind of finessing and cluttering and detailing the bar a little bit more because I just really, really love to work with clutter in The Sims and having just way too many objects in a space because if you've ever seen anything in my personal life, you would know that I just like to have too much stuff everywhere. I feel like it just adds to the closeness of a room and just gives it a little bit more life having so many just objects around. And that pretty much concludes our Pepper's Pub Rebuild. Um, here's the after pictures. Um, unfortunately, I went into live mode to do these pictures, so now it has decorations all over the bar on the outside that I do not want there. But thank you for viewing, and please provide feedback, um, what you think, what you liked, what you didn't like. Um, I want to know what makes you people happy, so please check us out again. We are on YouTube and Twitch, Builds by Bad Lord.